Today we'll see a small animation using that shape tween and animate a CC. I have a cartoon, so let's use that cartoon here in Flash or animate CC and let's apply that uh, the shape tween to it. So let's take a new file here. I just wanted to take 800 by 600 as in stage size. I would like to change the uh, stage color to black or gray, anything. You, if you want that, you can draw the cartoon here itself using these tools, or else we can take the predefined cartoon uh, vector artwork that if you have. I have the same. Let me open this. You can see here there's a character that which I wanted to use for this animation. Let's select this cartoon. I am just simply saying that copy and let's close this. Go back to the flash or animate. Now we need to say paste control V. Let's go with the default preferences. Let me click on OK. Yeah, you can see that uh, the complete artwork is imported here. It's very simple. Now let's uh, now let's decrease the size of this cartoon. Uh, you can use the transform dialog box here. Let's go to this. And would like to change that as a percentage. Let's take 50%. That you can see here. So still it is out of the stage. So let me make it 25 or 30 percent. I think this is okay. Yeah. If you want, even you can uh, use the transform tool to scale the artwork. Okay. So this is okay for me now. So let's see how to uh, you know use the shape tween to animate this character now eyes i just wanted to show that i blink uh, with the help of the shape frame so please do remember before starting the shape frame that we need to that we need to have shapes in different layers they are not supposed to be in object format they are supposed to be in shapes format because if they are in shapes uh, if they are in uh, you know shape mode then only it is possible for us to apply shape frame let's see here now there's a complete character right so just double click to uh, double click on this to get into it. Now let me double click again. Let's zoom it. Double click. You can see here. Double click. Yeah, I can see this now. So I just wanted to copy this. Say copy. Because I I want this art to work. Or else just double click. Yeah, this is more than enough for me now. Let's say copy. So come back to that scene one, and let's take uh, create a new layer and let's try to paste it in same place let's say paste in place you can see this now right so there's a left eye of the character let me say that left and now let's do that same thing again even for uh, the other side i also copy come back to that scene one let's create a new layer and let's Paste in place. Right. So now that you can see here, let me name it as and write. Just double click on the layer to name the layer. Let's do one thing now. Let us lock that uh, character layer and right layer. Let us take that left layer. Now let us convert this into a symbol so that we can play the animation in single frame itself. So right click on selected shape and say convert to symbol. Let us convert this as in movie clip. Uh, you can see this movie clip and you can just name them if you want. Let us say left eye, left eye, save. Now you can see uh, there's an, a grouped object now. So now get inside the symbol, get inside the symbol. And now what I wanted to do is, I would like to create another layer. Let us drag it down that you can see here layer one select the layer one lock it hide it now what i wanted to do is that i would like to take that one complete circle here oval shape let us go to this uh, shape you can see object mode is on now select that layer two let us draw a circle that you can see here uh, select that selection tool 
and you can see here if you want to see the background uh, to adjust this what we can do is that you can just click on this you can get that outline so that easy for us to uh, no, scale the object let's select this Make sure that it's supposed to cover. Now, uh, come out from the outline that you can see. Shape is clear. Now, if you want to apply that uh, shape pane that it is not supposed to be an object format. So we need to convert this into a shape just by applying break apart. Now you can see there's a very clear stuff. Let's do one thing now. Let us increase the duration till 10 frames. Select the uh, frames and right click. Just say insert frame. Let me select this right click on the keyframe. Let's say create shape train and you need to select that last 10th keyframe from layer to 10th frame uh, from layer to right click on it and let's say insert keyframe. Now you can see here final shape is fine. This is okay for me, but initially that is supposed to be open. Let us come back and just see here. What we'll do is we'll, we'll duplicate the shape. Just hold alt key and drag. You can see the uh, duplicate copy of it. Let's change the color and overlap. I just wanted to have only that you know the little shape there, not a bigger one. And let's scale it some. Right, uh, you can see here now. So let's go back to the selection tool. Don't deselect it. That's again a problem. Don't deselect it because it gets overlapped. Now let me click outside to overlap. Now both the color circles are overlapped. Now that if I click on blue color, only blue color circle gets selected. And I can delete this that you can see here very clear. Right. This is how uh, it is supposed to be. And we can see here. Right. I have a doubt that, you know, why do we have layer one? So we just need to mask it. So because we want that animation only within the shape. So go to that layer one, right click on the layer one and just say mask. That you can see here, you can see that animation within this, uh, you know, selected area. That's how it is. That's how it is, very simple. And if you feel that it is, uh, uh, you know, speed, then we can decrease that in the couple of frames. Let us make it for five frames. So select these two and let us make it like this. And you can just, uh, or else what we can do is, let's say undo, and you can just uh, select these two and right click and just say uh, uh, remove frames. Yeah, remove frames. So or else you can say shift F5 to remove that, uh, you know, the extra frames. Yeah, you can see that animation for just five frames. So of course that it is not supposed to be, uh, uh, you know, only one side. We need to have reverse animation also, right? So let us do one thing. Let's select this, uh, hold it and drag it. So don't click once and then later uh, drag. So because once you click and drag again, so keyframe will move. So hold the key and then drag. You can get the selection of uh, frames. Right click, let's say uh, copy frames. Now come back and just say paste frames. But if you can see here, paste frames, right? And and so 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 same animation gets pasted. Look at this. But it is not supposed to be same that it is supposed to be reverse right select the second range second range of frames and let's say reverse frames All right that you can see here now one two one two one two so now one two one two so now let's increase the duration here let's increase the duration here just select that and say a5 to increase the duration that you can see here one blink all right, so this is how uh, the simple animation is all about. So now let's uh, come back to the scene one and uh, let's make it 100 and then you can see the complete uh, shape again. So let's test it uh, with, with single eye animation. So to do that, go to control and just say test or else you can say control enter. You can see there, right? So if you want that, you can even make it a little more faster. Let's close this. And uh, yeah, log this. 
let us go back to this unlock the try time so let us zoom it for a little more select this convert this into a symbol as we did now so let's say convert to symbol so let's write it right so let us say right time okay double click on the symbol to get inside the symbol now let's do the same let's create a new layer let us put it down and let us lock this layer one and hide it so as we did now let us take one more circle here so you can take that same circle copy and then you can do it but still yeah would like to show you once again so outlines go to that uh, transform tool select this and you can transform as you require is okay for me so now uh, remove that outline and you can see the shape right so let us do one thing that now right uh, right click on the keyframe let's say create shape frame so you can just increase the duration right click on the selected frames and just say insert frames and select only that last keyframe from layer 2 insert a keyframe right that you can see here now second is fine but first pose is not this so oh we we missed a step there so we need to break apart let's say break apart and then do it here also so let's say break apart it's always better yeah so now go go back to that first keyframe and hold alt key and create a duplicate copy of it i change the color any color and please do overlap so now go to the selection tool and click outside so it gets deselected and overlap later we can select that green color and we can delete so that overlapped area will uh, get deleted so yeah you can see this now this is okay you need not to worry about this because we are going to mask it now so unhide it unlock it and you can see the animation so let us say just say mask right click on that layer one and just say mask and you can see that you know how beautiful it is so as i told you that we we require only that five frames let's say shift f5 and let us copy this copy frames and select that sixth frame and just say paste frames right and select the same duration and then let us say reverse let's say reverse frames and you need to increase that layer one frames also now you can see that very simple one two one two all right let's come back and uh, so before going back to this that we need to change the color of it you can see here so to take to change that color of this uh you know the shape that you need to do it from every keyframe otherwise uh, color also gets animated now select this let us go this and let me let me choose black as always better. let's select this click on the shape and fill black color please do remember either you need to start uh, you need to do this before starting the animation or else that you need to do it from every keyframe right you can see this now black color so let's go back and let us check uh, uh, the color of this symbol also select this what was the color Oh, it's locked, right? So unlock this layer. Select it. I think it is black. But it's not black. Uh, uh, let's take that black color. It is almost nearby black, but but yeah, since we have taken black in the other eye, let us fill with the black color. Let's select this. Yeah, you can see this now okay fine go back to that scene one and let's see here zoom out and let test it control enter to test the all right so you can see this it can be a little faster but it is not supposed to be this frequent so let's go back to that uh, frames again now you have uh, two symbols right let's get into that first symbol first 
double click on the symbol so you can see here the animation process is that you know once it reaches the 10th frame immediately it goes back to the first frame so that is the, the reason why that you are getting animation continuously so it is playing that animation continuously let's have gap of 25 uh, yeah before that you know i just wanted to have animation for only two to three frames not more than that so it becomes a little faster let's say shift f5 and let's do that shift f5 here also once yeah you can see this right and now increase that uh you know frames till 25 or 30 30 right click and just say insert frame just insert frames and you can see this you no know, still animation is continuing so so let us click on this and let's say remote frame so that you know the animation will be removed from only this area right and you can see here all right so now after 30th and then yeah it, it jumps back to the first let's do that same even for uh, the other uh, other side i also double click and let's decrease that you know the one one frame and now i think that was 30 right so let's insert frame now let me remove this frame. let's say remove frame. now come back and let's see here now this looks uh, beautiful let's say control and right you can see this now. so this is how that we can use a uh, shape theme and we can apply these kind of animations and characters so it's just a beautiful example to understand that shape theme. so let's go back and let me do that little more Let's double click on this and uh, let's decrease one more frame. Let's one more frame. So it becomes a little faster. Double click. Let's take one more. Take out one more. One more. Yeah. Control and Now this is a little better. right so this is how that we can use a uh, basic shape vein to create the different types of animations in work cycle and character animations and control animations all right thank you for watching